I invite all who are able to rise for this morning's unison prayer. Please join with me. Gathered here this day to worship you, Lord, we turn to you. We open ourselves to the stories told of you, handed down by our faithful foremothers and fathers. Blessed by your stories, we hope to honor them, embody them, and share them with those who come after us. We are all children of your creation. In your name we pray, amen. And our opening hymn, I Love to Tell the Story. be seated. As I said this morning, we are welcoming seven new members to United Church. So, new members, when I call your name, I invite you to stand where you are and remain standing until we have uh, called on all seven. First, uh, Dickie Denevere. Dickie is in the back. Allison Jacobs. Allison is right back over here. Good morning. Jim Miller and Penny Miller right here, Jim and Penny. Lacey Makins, Ron Patton next to Lacey, and Susan Thacker. Susan is right back here. Our seven newest members, welcome. <laughs> Welcome. 
You may be seated. And I invite church members to join with me in the congregational response. The words are on the screen. We welcome you with joy in the common life of this church. We promise you our friendship and prayers as we share the hopes and labors of the Church of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may we continue to grow together in God's knowledge and love and be witnesses of our risen Savior. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ and on behalf of everybody here at United Church, I extend to the seven of you the hands of Christian love welcoming you into this congregation. We give thanks that your spiritual journey has brought you to this very time and place. And once again, I have in my notes, this is where the congregation goes wild with applause. <laughs> After worship, new members, we will gather right over here by the God is good banner to my left. and We will take pictures. And I invite the rest of you to come over at that time and say hello and greet these seven newest members. Now let us all join together in our United Church of Christ statement of faith. We believe in you, O God, eternal spirit, God of our Savior Jesus Christ, and our God, and to your deeds we testify. You call the worlds into being, Create persons in your own image and set before each one the ways of life and death. You seek in holy love to save all people from aimlessness and sin. You judge people and nations by your righteous will, declared through prophets and apostles. In Jesus Christ, the man of Nazareth, our crucified and risen Savior, you have come to us and shared our common lot, conquering sin and death and reconciling the world to yourself. You bestow upon us your Holy Spirit, creating and renewing the church of Jesus Christ, binding in covenant faithful people of all ages, tongues, and races. You call us into your church to accept the cost and joy of discipleship, to be your servants in the service of others, to proclaim the gospel to all the world and resist the powers of evil, to share in Christ's baptism and eat at his table, to join him in his passion and victory. You promise to all who trust you forgiveness of sins and fullness of grace, courage in the struggle for justice and peace, your presence in trial and rejoicing, and eternal life in your realm, which has no end. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto you. Amen. And now a moment of silent prayer. God present with all people. We thank you this day for our newest church members and for each and every person who calls United Church their spiritual home. How wonderful it is to grow in relationship with other people of faith and to worship together in this place that you have called into being. It is with thanksgiving that we gather here to praise you and to celebrate all that you make possible. Most of all, in the highs and lows of life, we trust in you and the difference your presence makes with us. Now, Lord, we ask that you hear us as we continue praying, joining our voices, praying together as we have been taught to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.